Lieutenant Antrobus called for a level one hazmat, which brings, um, oh, sorry, which brings other support to assist with the uh, hazmat because it's since it's a large scope uh, at the time. So after the um, level one was called, probably about a half hour, 45 minutes later, we went to a level two, which requested more resources to uh, help mitigate this, the situation that we have going on. At that time, um, we made entry to the back of the uh, semi-truck to find out what kind of products were in there at the time. At the time, it was a mixed container, mixed load um, with a bunch of um, totes and, hold on a minute, sorry, product on um, that the guy was carrying was organic peroxide hydrogen peroxide uh, phosphoric acid sodium hydroxide solution so at the time the truck uh, the semi truck um, swerved um, a car basically cut them off that's what we were told and the uh, products and everything shifted causing puncture in three 55 gallon drums of organic peroxide which leaked and then causing a reaction to other material inside there which started a plume and then we upgraded to a interdivisional uh, task force from other departments so we had our hazmat team from 21 hazmat team from division 10 and a task force from 22. <clears throat> there were no injuries um, everybody went home safe that was the biggest um, issue with this uh, traffic is now open northbound southbound is still closed they're still loading the material onto another truck to ship it off at this time um, that's all i have for right now any questions so when we come to a hazmat incident it's a long process because the safety is the biggest thing and we have to wear these special type of suits to um, examine the product, take samples, so we can get them back to our <clears throat> science team, that's what we call them, science, and then they tell us, okay, this is what we have, and they have certain books that they looked at, and they tell us how to um, attack the situation, to, uh, for stuff like, basically. And then to block all of the lanes of traffic on both sides for this, what was the reaction that was happening? It was, a, uh, it was a chemical reaction in which would cause a fire. Um, we didn't want that. Uh, some of the product leaked below down on Santa Fe Drive. So we had uh, Division 10 hazmat team start the process down below for it spreads to tape everything off. So it was more of a safety factor. Um, we didn't want it to spread or cause uh, more injuries to everybody else because everybody else likes to stop and walk. So we said better off shutting down the, uh, the highway. Plus, we needed a water supply system. There's no hydrants on the top of the bridge on 955. So we had Westmont's truck um, relay their ladder up to the top of I-55 to uh, supply water to our uh, relay engines up on top. How do you actually clean up hydrogen peroxide? What is that process look like? For what they told us from Ecolab um, and Chemtrack, where we call, there's certain numbers we call. They said, do not add water, so we stopped doing that. Um, sand, sand was a basic thing, so we lay down a layer of sand and sand inside the truck, and then uh, a cleanup company will come back after and clean up the process. Uh, who else we had? We had the EPA was out there, along with IEMA, just to make sure everything was um, within range. Uh, <clears throat> what else we had? Anything else? And at this time, did they tell you that everything seemed to be in range? Or yes, everything was, uh, there was no health issues, no hazards. Everything was uh, clear to go. We turned it over to Illinois State Police. They're going to do their investigation on proper placking of the vehicle and um, security on that vehicle. The EMS call that was initially made, that had nothing to do with the driver of the truck, right? No. Um, somebody just called our dispatch, and this way it just came over that we received the EMS call. Okay, so those are unrelated. Correct. I can't say or deny it was 
everybody talks, but that's what the uh, driver stated. That somebody cut him off, so he had to slam on the brakes, causing the shift in the road. Did you know where, where he was coming from, where he was going? I do not know. Anybody else? It's all good? Thanks. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you, everyone. Good job. As he walked into the sunset.